What's going on guys, Ron Pareti here from Techno Buffalo, and normally I do app videos for you guys, but those apps tend to be on your phones. Today I'm going to be giving you guys apps on Mac, on your desktop, that can improve your workflow, can improve your day to day. The number one thing we're gonna be looking at is Parallels 12. For those of you who don't know, which I'd be surprised if many of you don't, Parallels allows you to run Windows on your Mac within your Mac OS. What's new with Parallels 12 is a plethora of features like one-touch tools and a bunch of other improvements in performance and fluidity that integrate some of the best features of Mac, such as Do Not Disturb, software updates into Parallels, making it a much more seamless experience for Windows and Mac. And in my experience of using Parallels, that's kind of what it was. I've never really used Parallels before, so it's hard for me to compare really Parallels 11 to 12, but it was a very fluid, smooth experience. I was a big fan. And if you are gonna use Windows for certain types of software, for gaming, on a Mac, this is a great alternative. And all the new improvements are very welcome as they all are minor improvements that add up to the bigger picture to make a big improvement in the experience as a whole. Next, we have Unity. Now Unity was a big problem solver for me because I use about three to four devices, if not more. And I have different files, different clips, different video clips, different photos, different documents on each and every one of them. And every now and then I have to access another one. And I know I'm not the only person with this problem. I know a lot of you guys have that as well. Now, of course, there's things like remote access or cloud sharing, and you can do the old school just transferring stuff on an SSD, but Unity sort of takes the best of each and every one of these worlds and then cuts out the bad stuff. So you don't get the downsides of cloud storage of having to wait for syncing and that kind of stuff. Files stay privately on the hard drive or the flash memory of whatever device they were on. You're simply accessing them through the app. It's sort of interlinking all of your devices, whether it be desktops, laptops, phones, or tablets. What's also cool about this is by accessing any of your files, you can also share any of your files with one or two clicks. You can export it and then share it via email, copy to your clipboard, text it, upload to a cloud storage, whatever you want. Next, we have PIA, which is a VPN service. A VPN service, for those of you who don't know, is a virtual private network, and it basically masks your IP address of where you're accessing the internet from. PIA is great because they offer a full sort of end-to-end -end comprehensive service of everything you'd want from a VPN, encrypted Wi-Fi, peer-to-peer support, five devices simultaneously, unlimited bandwidth, no traffic logs, awesome, awesome stuff. And if you buy their one-year package, it's only three bucks a month, or about 333. It's a little bit more if you go month to month, but it's always a great option, and I personally really enjoy using it myself for security because I'm a little sketched out by certain things in the world, and that's just what it is. And last but not least, we have Radiant Player, which is an app that I installed a while back when I switched to Google Play Music, and that's kind of what it is. It's a desktop player for Google Play Music. Kind of weird that Google doesn't have their own first-party version. I guess they want you to use it within Chrome, but if you do want to use it separately from Chrome, Radiant Player is a great option. They do a really good job of updating, and one of my favorite things was right after download, it'll work automatically with your play, pause, skip buttons on your Mac keyboard. And before I let you guys go, one more service that I'm a fan of, it's not really an app, is Audible. I'm a big fan of Audible because I spend a lot of time in my car and I like reading, but in most cases, listening to books. A book that I'm currently listening to is The War of Art by Stephen Pressfield. Another book I'm really looking forward to getting is Ego is the Enemy by Ryan Holiday, but let me know what books you guys are looking forward to reading or listening to. You guys can check out Audible and get a 30-day free trial by signing up using our link, audible.com slash techno. Again, that's audible.com slash techno. I love them. I highly recommend you guys check them out and leave me a comment down below with what you guys are reading or looking forward to reading.